Hello everyone and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. We're taking our first look at the air tab today for the Entente Coalition. Not too many comparisons left for this one, then we'll be moving on to a different coalition and a new expert for the time being though, we still do have Gatsu and air superiority fighters are always a contentious choice. Every faction's play a little bit differently, we'll have a different number of missiles, a little bit different ECM, and all of that, and of course veterancy is a very important part of the discussion as well. So for Entente, your highest performing ASFs are going to be your L19 and your L18. So I'm curious, Gatsu, what do you think about these two? Which one do you take, particularly in 1v1s I guess, and why? So most often I use L19 just because it's uh, more reliable than L18. Even though it is like at a one step lower uh, veterancy, it still has uh, higher uh, accuracy missiles. And it's also the main thing is they are fire and forget compared to semi active. So, for example, when you are fighting like two, two air superiority fighters versus two air superiority fighters, those who have uh, fire and forget uh, long range missiles usually win because, right. uh, the, because of the way how semi active works. So, in like 1v1, when the planes uh, fight to get, fight against each other, like dogfight, it's not such a big deal, but when it's like in higher numbers, it's a big deal. And so for those of you who aren't too familiar with it, just to, to chime in here for a second, semi-active missiles will lose their tracking if your plane gets stunned. So let's say, for example, an L-18 and L-19 were going against each other, and the L-18 fires first, but the missile, I believe, for semi-active is a bit slower. They both land their first hit, and the L-18 is stunned. The L-19 can fire, or if it already has fired, that missile will connect. If the L-18 has already fired, that missile is not going to connect. Uh, yes, it works uh, somehow like that. Uh, the thing is that uh, usually the first missile is not uh, really inf inflicted by that, but uh, the second missile can uh, get lost if it gets stunned or if the plane dies, so it's like the big negative of it. And uh, especially it's problematic when you're trying to kill enemy bomber, which is running away, it's not going towards you. The fire and forget is so much more reliable than the semi-active ones. Just because and of the missile speed? Enemy bombers. Uh, yes, you get them like uh, all faster and you don't really need to care, you can switch the targets after that. If you do that with midway, with like when you're firing, like it's on the way towards the bomber and suddenly you want to engage the enemy or superiority fighter, that semi-active one, you just change the target and it's gone forever. So we are never hitting that one. Gotcha. That's like one of the problems. So if you're trying to kill like a one on one, the L18 might be better bang for a buck, but uh, L19 like overall, it's uh, it's actually almost same as uh, Block 52 in USA. Uh, but the trade off is that you get 5% more accuracy on the long range ones, but you actually don't have Vulcan like the main, the main gun. Is, uh, yes, the auto cannon is actually quite bad on the L19. So it's a bit better at range, a little bit worse close up, I guess would be summary. Um, yes, uh, also uh, you pay extra, but the trade-off is that uh, you are getting trolled less. Gotcha. You can get trolled very hard with L18 also, the 10% extra ECM is uh, very nice to have. Yeah, and apologies guys for the sirens, they're not coming for you guys, they're not coming for us, I promise. Uh, there is one last plane that I do want to mention real quick because it is such a unique thing and I think a really powerful option. It's not an air superiority fighter, it's in fact more of a helicopter hunter, but the L-17K. Uh, so Gatsu, you want to do a brief description of what this thing can be used for? L-17K is, uh, the, I would say, the most reliable hero hunter in the game. It's got a, a little bit at the lower end of the ECM, is 20%, but it's still very good at hunting all kinds of helos. It's especially must-have in uh, team games, where you can meet a USA a lot of times, where you kill a longbow with it pretty well, and uh, there is not that uh, many units like this in the game, which are so powerful at that one role. Yeah. Also, when you kill the helo and you keep it, you can still use it as uh, like a help secondary superiority fighter that can deal with like a bomber or something if it's in the air. And it's all around uh, very nice to have in your deck. And that secondary role is going to be protect uh, particularly useful or, or at least pronounced anyway on, on smaller maps like Hell in a Very Small Place because these missiles have very, very, very short range. But um, in particular, I think what was said about longbows, I love this in the USA matchup because you send one in you kill a longbow, you're up about 60 points on the trade, and you still might get out. Even if you don't, it's worthwhile. If you do, 
you send it after a second longbow when they buy another <laughs> and you get another longbow kill. Um, it's a and really nice way of fending that off. In high intensity team games, it's even worse to send uh, like two L17Ks at the same time against longbow to guarantee the kill. So even if you lose both of them, it's still a good trade-off in the end to kill the longbow. It's always like a side objective when you're playing against USA in team games to kill the longbow. Yeah, that's least, fair. Uh, in my experience, so it's always worth it to have something that can deal with it. And the uh, problem of Untamed is that you usually have only four cards of plane, so you don't have seed that often, which is uh, quite problematic. Like yeah. it, this thing takes place instead of a seed, but if you're playing like a specialization or you somehow you effort five plane slots, it's very powerful. Okay, well that'll be our unit comparison for air superiority fighters. We'll have another comparison for you guys tomorrow.